So I just got in my car and drove up and saw amazing. The car was upside down on the pumps at the Carroll station. Don Karbanacek owns the Woodcroft Exxon directly across from the crash scene and recalls what he saw as he opened up for business Monday morning. At around 4.55 a.m., surveillance cameras with a couple different angles captured a 2007 Mercury Milan driven by a 64-year-old man careening out of control down Putty Hill Avenue in Parkville, then crashing into a gas pump at the Carroll fuel station. Came right through, took some of her bushes out, and just trimmed them for us. Um, and how it got through and flipped the way it did, I don't know. Um, from what I see on the marks, it had to go airborne and just come down on the pump. Karbanacek says there are plenty of other things for the driver to hit, but he didn't, like this sign, a vacuum, telephone pole, and a traffic signal. As to why the crash didn't cause a fire or explosion, crews fixing the pump later in the day told 11 News these shear valves prevented the disaster. So if the outside dispenser that's exposed to the public gets hit by a car and, and knocked over, that shear valve automatically opens, drops a ball in there and just shuts off all the fuel. And it's a good thing it worked as both gas stations have a combined almost 50,000 gallons of fuel underground. As police continue to investigate this crash, they tell us alcohol was not a factor, so it could have been a health issue or simply an accident. As far as the driver's condition, we are told he remains critical. In Parkville, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.